What's up, people? Hey, guys. Two t-shirt guys here. Today, we're gonna be talking about replacing Easy Way Systems tank with a CCI tank. Dip and strip tank. Dip and strip tank. Dip and strip tank. That's right, stay tuned. Dip and strip tank, the reason why we're replacing the easy way tank is because as you could see outside, it was so tall. And then what happens is after a while, it just... And then you gotta put extra 10 gallons of water. You gotta put in more chemical and it always evaporates because there's no cap on it. So basically it's gaining some weight. Say yeah. it like that. <laughs> now the dip and strip has the bottom plate I guess we can call that overflow protection boom you get yourself a nice top and you can close it off if you want and basically that's gonna help you from you know saving your chemical and water in there it's not gonna evaporate as fast uh, but one of the beautiful things with this uh, dip and strip tank is the fact that it's reinforced. So if you pay attention up here on the top, you can see how thick the top is. Now, easy way is thin. Maybe we'll go back and show you that, maybe not, I don't know. But it's really thin and you can move it easily. If you can see this one, I can push hard and it's not really budging any. Now, you also have, boom, the holder for your screens so once you load up the screens uh, CCI says it can hold six of the 24 by 31 screens we haven't tested it yet as you can see it's still new um, but I'm kind of excited to use this locking mechanism and we'll definitely go back to the easy way one and show you their ridiculous setup because it's really really bad if you can see on the bottom we added two bricks and basically that helps us lift it up so it's not as low to the ground all the way down here and then if we need to drain it we can attach a hose up here and just drain it away we're gonna be using micro wash tube by CCI every manufacturer has their own tank chemical we're gonna be using this one it was recommended by CCI um you're supposed to dilute it with water 10 up to 10 to 1 but we're probably shoot for maybe one to five all right so a couple of things you'll need to open up a five gallon is you'll need one of these wrenches which fit over the top and you're just gonna break that seal open it it comes with this nice little valve it was provided in the package with the tank we're gonna open it up and you can see it's closed cap now we have to cut out the metal and once you cut it out basically we're just gonna take it off don't need it then we're gonna take the provided valve not really sure what the right word for it is but we're just gonna screw that onto the cap boom then we're gonna screw the cap back on right so we managed to cut away the back whoo that was quite a workout guys all right on the back of the five gallon it tells you one two three four and that the top is five so what we want to do is we want to come down where the two is three four and five so basically we're going to empty three gallons into our tank and then we're going to fill the rest with water so let's get to it guys Still gotta keep going. We're not to the two 
gallon's left part yet. So, what we used to do before is we used to dump it in a two gallon bucket we had over there, measuring cup bucket. And it was kind of faster, but the whole purpose for this video is just doing it with the tools provided that you will get with the tank. So that way we're doing everything the same way you'll be doing it. All right, we're at two gallons, so we're good guys. We're gonna close this one off. Put your caps back on. Close this bad boy off. All right, so now is the fun part. Grab your hose. Now, champ. Maybe what I should have done is taken off the handle, but too late now. I'm already doing it. So we're just gonna fill it up. Woo! And ideally, it's better if you try not to get these bubbles in there, which is why we used to do it the other way before. But we'll just do it the easy way. Easy way. The tank sure wasn't the easy way. All right. All right, guys. Now, what we wanted to show you with this is first, the reason why we put three gallons instead of two gallons, you might be wondering, is because this is gonna settle down, it's gonna evaporate, we're gonna have to refill it up with chemical. The way we do it is we like to put extra gallon on there, let it mix in, let it blend in, let it settle down for a day or two, and then we don't have to top it off with nothing but water because we already have enough chemical in there. Now, you can do it with only two gallons, or you can do it any way you want. It's one to 10 ratio or up to one to 10. But um, another important thing to know is if you do your chemical first and then you top it with water is this is what you will get. You will get bubbles on top, which will require some time to settle down. So you cannot straight up get to working. I mean, you could if you're in a hurry, preferably let it settle down top it up with water and then you're in business if you do it the other way around preferably fill it first with water then when you reach about four to five inches from the top of the tank fill it with your chemical that way you won't have the bubbles on top we like to do it this way so we can actually showcase you do it yourself kind of thing and you're not stuck back and wondering like oh what's happening why am i getting this why am i getting that nothing to worry about you didn't do anything wrong just gotta wait it out let the solution settle down the bubbles are gonna go away top it off with water and you're in business now we're gonna go back to easy way this is gonna settle we're gonna be good to go we're not gonna be showing you how to dip it and how to wash screens that's not the today's video Today's video was simply a review of the dip and strip tank by CCI. Now we're gonna go back to easy way tank and just show you these couple of things you saw at the beginning of this video. Let's roll. Now, the easy way problems we discussed a second ago. This is the top the cap and it's supposed to close off guys but it can't now if you follow the line this is how much the tank has stretched uh, that's on both sides not just one side so you can't really close it off which makes the whole cap useless the tank itself it's hard it seems dirty but once you put that water on it it just expands and you can tell how it's much, much, much higher, taller than the CCI one. Now, there's no reinforced pieces inside of the tank. You can see that dirty bottom in there, but there's no reinforced plastic. 
there's no reinforcement on the sides which is what caused the tank to warp in the first place all that water the gravity it just pulls it and it expands now maybe the cci is going to do the same thing but again keep in mind the difference is this is the cci so the center of gravity is a little bit different it should hold better it should be better it's not going to be as warped as the easy way one was and one more thing before i totally forget the thing that i hated the most when you put the screen in you're supposed to lock it in look hold it in place so they don't just fly out of the tank with something and these two sticks is what easy way provides you with their tank and it's ridiculous because once you put the water in this tank has actually shrunk it was this size when the water was in i mean you're talking about this stick being too little for it to hold the screen in place because that's how much it worked with water in it you couldn't even use these sticks because once you put it on one side it couldn't even reach the other side so what we had to do for a long time before we got the new tank is hold them in there with something so literally you put a screen in you grab that something and you hold it in for two minutes let it soak and then you take them out which is useless what's the point give me something that works for the price you're paying easy way should be doing a much better job now we were promised by an easy way a new tank their gen 2 gen 3 whatever gen this is the next latest better bad bad boy tank that hasn't come out yet because we haven't gotten one so that's that for easy way no go thumbs down don't like don't want to use now i wasn't bashing on easy way they weren't <laughs> but <laughs> <laughs> it really stressed me out i mean every time i had to wash screens it was a hassle over and over and over a hassle because the tank kept stretching and then there was nothing to hold the screens in for i mean that's really really hard <laughs> <laughs> but anyways guys so we're hoping that we have accomplished what we were set out to do is with the new tank yes so basically the new tank is it would be a much improved version of the old one, but give it some time and then I guess we can give we'll it an update, it. see what happens. But overall, I think it should be much better than the old tank. Hopefully. So as always, don't forget, subscribe, like, subscribe, like, subscribe, <laughs> like us and comment and subscribe, subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next video. Bye. Two t-shirt guys out.